Okay, so this next card does require a little bit of cutting. So this paper is pretty cool. It has this, um, I don't know what you would call this, honeycomb looking paper, except it's just gray on white. And then on the back side of it is this really cute little um, beehive paper with tiny little bees in it. Pretty fun, huh? So I always, you know, you guys can always do whatever you would like with the kits. I mean, of course I have a, a planned idea, but if you're inspired by something and you want to create, you could cut these out and pop them up with pop dots and wrap the ribbon around. There's so much you can do, but I'm going to show you my idea. So what I'm going to do is I love the idea of cutting along the pattern of the paper um, so that you are actually creating um, a little bit of a honeycomb shape on your paper. So I'm actually going to cut out this corner right here, but again, I'm following the edge of the honeycomb pattern. Okay. Because I really love that look. I like when it's interesting and kind of funky and a little, I don't know, a little artsy. It just kind of makes me happy. So I'm actually going to do more than that corner. I'm probably going to do this actual like, whole little bottom chunk here. I've decided I was going to do just that little piece, but I want to do more than that. I want it to be fun and funky. We're just going to make this exciting. You never know what you're going to get when you do a craft kit with me. It's always going to be fun. Okay. So here's our first little piece here. Now, when you see that there, it's going to have that nice black border all the way around. Okay. I'm just going to leave that there just for a moment. And I'm going to cut another piece. Now, you could, again, I just really encourage you to be creative here. You could always just pop that up and add another layer. That's really cool. You could add another little mini, like a middle section and pop that up and cut it into little pieces. Oh my gosh, there's so much you can do here. Actually, just even saying that, I think I'm going to do another little side piece because I'm like, ah, I'm going to do a third piece. I'm sorry, I haven't even done my second piece yet. I'm already talking about what I'm going to do for my third section here. So on the side here, on this top left side, I'm going to cut out this little tiny little chunk over here. So again, you can kind of just be creative. Um, maybe, you know, there are like other little areas like, well, maybe you want to pop, cut out little individual ones and use a pop dot and pop them up on there. Oh my gosh, that would be such a cool idea. There's so many choices. Just know that you've got options, you guys. Okay. All right. Let me put that guy over there. So cool. And then I'm going to do something off of this corner up here. Again, kind of just following this pattern here that we are given, because sometimes when you go with the pattern, there's a lot that you can do. And, um, you know, sometimes it's like, well, it could be boring, but I think it's inspiring. All right. I love that papers always kind of give like little hints of what you could do. And then I was kind of like, wait, but you could do this, or you could do this, or you could do this. I have a million ideas, you guys. So if you're ever stuck on a project, come and find me, okay? I love to help. And most, if you know me, you probably know that I come up with a million and a half ideas. And you probably would just choose one, or maybe none of them, and that's okay. I just love sharing my ideas. All right. So when we lay this down, we're going to make sure to leave our nice about an eighth of an inch border on all the sides that we have our honeycomb. Okay. But we're not going to glue that down quite yet. Before we do, that's where we have this fun twine. So we're going to stick on our double sided tape on the back side of the black. And I'm just going to go on all four sides here. The end here of the twine, we're going to stick that on and then we're going to wrap that around. And the idea here is I'm going to kind of aim a little bit more towards the bottom and then I'm going to aim a little bit more towards the top and I'm going to kind of just do the middle section here and stick that on the back. And I'm going to kind of squeeze that together a little bit and that is where I'm going to put one of those little, um, one of the uh, little, um, oh my gosh, beehive. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Sorry, I need to cut off a tiny little piece of this because that's what I was thinking about. Um, all right. So we've stuck it on the back. I'm taking a tiny little piece of my twine here so I can um, squeeze my tiny little strings together here. And I'm going to tie this in a knot right there. Okay. So now, not only is that going to squeeze all that together, but I'm tying in a double knot there so that I can, it's going to actually add a tiny little bit of dimension. I'm doing that on purpose. If you ever go to glue something on a dot and you're like, oh, it's popped up farther than I was anticipating. We're going with that. That's that's what I'm aiming for, actually. 
Give me that on purpose. Okay. So we have our cute little squeezed in little section there. We are going to put this on our white card stock base there so that we have an even border on all four sides. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to cut out not from the pieces of the honeycomb there. Whoops. But we're going to talk to the side for just a moment. Okay, so now we're going to fussy cut our little beehives here. La, la, la. I know this one has a little bit more fussy cutting. It's interesting when I go to make my design my craft kits, I never really know until about, oh, well, until the moment I'm doing it. So for today, like literally about 4.35, I was like, oh, it's craft kit day. Yeah, uh, design a couch kit. So that's what I was doing. It was pretty fun. I always love to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna put some double-sided tape on the back side of that little guy there. And then I'm gonna mount him up. I'm actually gonna trim my little tails here so that we have the knot and the knot is kind of big and bulbous there. I'm kind of adding quite a bit of dimension onto our card. So I'm just gonna show you right there. See, so you can see like the edge of that and it's just kind of sticking out quite a bit. I did that on purpose. Okay, now we have our little guy here. Now, as we're staying, sticking this down, remember we don't want to be covering that middle one right there, okay? That one's going to be sticking up, but all the all the other areas here for our honeycomb, we're going to be going around it. So you want to lay this out as you're going here to make sure that you don't accidentally have your string um, in a weird place and that it might be blocked out or your um, little beehive might be blocked out from the honeycomb. So there's double sides of tape sticking out in here and it's driving me crazy. Oh my gosh, it's just going to bother me. There we go. Okay, so if that happens to be the case, that little piece there, that little knot, you can just scoot it over, remember, because we tied it on, so you can actually scoot it, right? You should be able to, and you can scoot that over if you need to, okay? I'm going to leave mine in the middle because I'm happy with that. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut my last little guys here. Now we're going to do, um, you should, all should have three. I don't know why I have four. Tracy did say that someone out there had four. It was me. I have four. Um, you all should have three. So we are going to do three. If you happen to have a fourth, you can put it on the inside of the card, but I don't think you can have a fourth. All right. You can also fussy cut the tiny little bees if you want, but I am definitely not going to do that because they are so tiny. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right, so once you have your three little cute little beehives there, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish off the card by gluing on our honeycomb. Now, what I'm going to do is put the adhesive on the edges for sure, so right on the back side of the corners there, and so then as you stick that down, remember to give yourself an eighth of an inch or sorry, 16th of an inch. If you're not sure what that amount is, um, if you have the corner or the bottom edge piece, like what I had, because I had to cut that whole bottom section of the honeycomb there, um, you can lay that down and then you'll know because it's an even border on the left, right, and the bottom, and that's 16th of an inch. So then you can line that up and then you'll know. Okay, oh, my little guy is stuck down. Stay in place. Okay, and I think this is bothering me a little bit. I want that to have a little bit more dimension, so I'm literally going to make a pop dot with a little bit of my leftover twine here and a little bit of double sided tape. I know I'm getting, getting creative, but I want that to have more dimension, and it's just driving me crazy there. If I had a pop dot with me, I would do it oh, much better. I may actually include a little pop dot in your kit after doing that. <laughs> you guys don't have to do the makeshift make a pop dot from literally miscellaneous uh, twine that you have laying around. Okay, all right, and then we're gonna do the last little piece right along that edge there. Ah, oh my gosh, I love it so much. And now you can put your other little beehives wherever you would like. You can put a couple at the bottom. You have one here, one at the bottom, or one at the bottom, one at the top. You can kind of tuck them in. So there are lots of fun little choices there. Or of course, you can put them all right next to each other. So lots of little ideas there. 
or you could just do the one there and do the two on the inside so which is actually what we're going to do here so here we go well i feel like there needs to be more yellow on the front of the card I almost want, oh my gosh, I have some more beehives on the other side of my paper. Yes, that is wonderful news. So we can cut out more of them, you guys. All right, even if you just have one more, that it would be wonderful. Because I have a plan. I know this video ended up being way longer. The other video was so short. And this one is so much longer, but it's because there was way more than I wanted to do with this idea. And the other idea was basic. Okay. So we're going to put two more little honey, or not little honey, little beehives on the front of the card. And I think I'm going to tuck them kind of back here on the black. Uh oh. I didn't pull my trigger. All right, I'm gonna tuck those guys up there. And of course, if you wanted to add more in, you can. And what's kind of cool about this is that even if you have um, just an area that you only want, to, you only have space maybe for only a part of one. If you have only a part of a um, little beehive there you can just use a little part of it and kind of have it like peeking out from behind so even if your little beehive is damaged a little bit you can still use it okay now we're gonna have one more full one and we're gonna use that on the inside of the card oops that's okay okay and then we're gonna need a black pen and that will be our thing that we're going to add the tiny little details to finish it off. I'm using just a black lip pen. It's just a really easy, quick, fine point felt point pen. It dries pretty much right away. So we're going to draw like a little oval, like a tiny little oval. It kind of looks like a flea. Okay. Tiny. And then we're going to draw a tiny couple little wings on it. I, I added four wings because technically these have four wings, but you could just even do two. And then we're just going to draw some little dots like this and kind of look like a little, like a little trail of, like a little bug trail. And if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you can do it with a pencil and then just do dots with your um, marker, your fine point pen on top of the pencil and then go back in and you erase the pencil. Okay. And you can make your dotting perfect or you can make it scattered like mine. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay. But it makes it look kind of cute, doesn't it, for the inside of a card. And on the front here, we're going to do the same thing. Again, draw a little oval, and you can draw just your little wings. And if your wings are just tiny little, little guys and they're open, that's okay, too. And then we're going to draw our little bug lines. And if your bug lines just look like that, that's okay, too. Whatever you're going to do for your bees, you might want to do your, your, I would recommend doing all your wings on the front of the card the same way. So on the inside of the card, I did a double wing, but on the outside of the card, I'm just doing single wings. Okay. And this is just adding a little bit more fun and interest and kind of cute, cutesiness to the front of, to the card. Okay. And there we have it. Ta-da! Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing the bee, guess what? I sell a stamp that's literally that size at the shop. So if you would like it, you just give me a call and let me know. And I will order it for you because I think I'm sold out because it is literally the cutest little stamp ever. Oh, so much fun. All right, you guys, there's the bee cards today. They're happy bee cards. This one has happy little bee messages and this one just brings you a little bit of joy. Yay. Thanks for joining me for the craft kit today, you guys. See you later. Bye.